All right, this is fifth grade, module six, lesson five. And in this lesson, we continue having our students practice plotting and locating points and identifying uh, those coordinate pairs. Uh, but this time, we're going to do it inside of an, an, a little bit of an investigation to understand the patterns of what happens when we are plotting points and we end up creating a vertical line or if we end up creating a horizontal line. What ends up happening? What kind of patterns can we notice with those points? Because after all, mathematics is the study of patterns. So while we're practicing the skill of plotting points, we're also looking for patterns. So let's get started. So the directions say to use a straight edge to construct a line that goes through the points A and B. Now I am on a computer, so I'm not able to actually use a straight edge, but I'll do my best. And we're going to create a straight line that goes through A and B. There's my straight line. And they want us to label it G, so I'm going to label it with a G. And again, tradition has us use cursive rather than just a regular old printed G. And the line G is parallel to which axis? Is it parallel to the Y axis or is it parallel to the X axis? And of course, it's parallel to the X axis. And it's perpendicular to the Y axis. Because remember, perpendicular means the two lines form a right angle. Now we're supposed to draw two more points on this G. And so let's label, let's draw two more points. And let's say one right here and one right here. All right. And, uh, and then name them C and D. All right. So let's label them C. And it doesn't matter which one we do, C and D. And then step D says give the coordinates. So let's identify the coordinates of each of these. So let's start with A. Now, I'm, I need to look down here at my scale, and I see that A is at the 4 on the x-axis, x-coordinate, and it's at the 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 on the y-coordinate, y-axis. So it's 4, 8. So A is 4, 8. Now if I'm going to look at B, I can see it's 1 less than 10, so that's 9. And it's still at that same height. It's still at that same location on the y-axis. So it's 9, 8. So b is 9, 8. I can see that in my problem, the way I decided to put the, pot, the point, that c is located at 6, 8. Now, students, and uh, you guys might have different answers. So parents and teachers, uh, you're not going to be able to just read off an answer key here because students could have had a lot of different options that would still be right. In fact, some of your students might even have tried to go into the negative territory or they could have gone uh, something silly like 100 on the X coordinate and then still 8 on the Y coordinate. And the last one, D, where I located it, it's at 2, so it's 2, 8. And what do, we, what do we notice? Well, they all have 8 as the y coordinate. So give the coordinates of another point that falls on the line G and uh, has an x coordinate greater than 25. So I was just talking about how some students might really try and get crazy. Well, we know um, it could be anywhere along the x coordinate, but we know it has to be at the y, at 8 on the y coordinate. So uh, it could be 100, 8 could be one point. That would be perfectly fine. This is more of the same, except they've kind of removed some of the scaffolding, and they made it a little bit more complicated by having us include fractions. So we're going to plot the following points, and we're going to locate them, or label them, H, I, J, and K. So let's see. Well, let's do it in black. Okay, so H is at 3 quarters. So where is 3 quarters? Well, 3 quarters is right here between 1 half and 1 whole. 3 quarters and 3. So 3 quarters and 3 is going to be right up here. 3 quarters and 3 right there. Uh, best I can. Good. And then, uh, so that's H. Let's label that H. 
And I'm using my thick pen there, I guess. <laughs> uh, and then I, so three quarters and two and a quarter. So here's still the three quarters on the x coordinate. Now we have to find two and a quarter on the y coordinate. And I can see that two and a quarter is right here. And then there's my three quarters right here on the x. So I can see that the the point is going to go right there. And we're going to label that i. And now we're ready to do j. j is at 3 quarters and a half. So 3 quarters. Once again, we're starting to see the pattern, right? Here's our 3 quarters. Now I just have to worry about going up the half on the y coordinate. There it is. And that's j. And then k is 3 quarters again. And then 1 and 3 quarters. And that's going to be right there. 1 and 3 quarters right there. And that's our k. And so it does say use a straight edge to draw and connect our lines. So I'm going to use red because I'm just trying to be a little bit different here. And there is our line. And it says to label it F using that cursive lettering, F. And if inline F, X, what is the X value every single time? Well, the X value was 3 quarters every single time. And I'm going to leave the rest of the questions for you parents and teachers to work with with your students. But the idea is to, for us to start to recognize that in a vertical line, it's the x-coordinate that is the same every time, while in a horizontal line, it was the y-coordinate that's the same every time. Now here, this is kind of tricky. It says write the coordinate pairs of three points that could be connected to, a, to construct a line that is five and a half units to the right of and parallel to the y-axis. So the idea is here's our y-axis, here's our x-axis. And what we're going to do is we need to identify, let's count these by halves. So that's going to be one two, three, four, five, and that makes this five and a half right there. See what I mean by that? There's a half and one, one and a half and two, two and a half and three. So there's five and a half units away from the y-axis, and we're supposed to be parallel to the y-axis. So basically, we need a line that is going to go up and down right here. So that's a vertical line, which is what they're asking us to do. So write the coordinate pair of three points that can be connected to a line to construct a line that is five and a half units to the right of y and parallel to y. So here's our line. And oh, let's graph the points. Oh, let's say we want a point, oh, right here, a point here, and a point here. All right. So we got to label our y axis just like we labeled our x axis. So here's our zero. So that means this is one, this is two, three, four, five. And if we want to label this point right here, it's going to be at five and a half on the x axis and four on the y-axis. So it's going to be 5 and a half comma 4. This again is going to be 5 and a half on the x-axis, but this time it's going to be at 2 and a half on the y-coordinate. And then last one right here, again it's 5 and a half on the x-coordinate, and it's at 2 on the y coordinate. And there we've plotted our points. So here's a fun one. It's just recalling the idea of playing that battleship game. And we see that five, let's plot these. So we've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then again 1, 2, 3, 4, 
5. And let's plot these. That 5, 5 is a miss. So let's do 5, 5, and I'll put X as in it's a miss. 4, 5 is a hit. So 4, 5 is a hit. And then 3 and a half, 5 is a miss. So 3 and a half, 5 is a miss. And then 4 and a half, 5 is a miss. So 4 and a half, 5 is a miss. So the idea is to say, all right, what should her next guess be? Well, we know these directions are misses. So really, our next guesses should either be right here or right here because it's got to be, it can't be a diagonal boat. And we've identified that it cannot be a horizontal going this way. So it's got to be either up or, up or down. And so our next guesses should be one of these two, and it doesn't really matter. But specifically, what are those points? Well, this one right there is 4 on the x-coordinate and 4 and a half on the y-coordinate. And then uh, this one right there, that guy, what is that one? Well, it's again, it's 4 on the x-coordinate and 5 and a half on the y-coordinate. So 4 on the x-coordinate and 5 and a half on the y-coordinate. And again, it's because it's vertical, our two choices, that means the same x-coordinate is going to be used both times. And that wraps up 5th grade Module 6 Lesson 5, looking for patterns as we talk about and, and investigate vertical and horizontal lines.